Okay, for your guys' homework tonight, uh, I sent you guys home with a dual hybrid cross. Okay, so where you're going to have right a big R, little R cross with a big Y, little Y, and it's going to be the same on both sides. Okay, so step one, we're going to have to segregate out the alleles. Okay, so that big R, which is we're going to use for red, okay, and the big Y, which we're going to use blue. Okay, so that same big R could be combined with a lowercase letter Y. Okay, so then we're going to have the little r. The little r could combine with the big y. Or it could combine with the little y. So we'll have a little r and a little y. Okay, and so the other side is going to be the same thing. So we're going to have a big r here, a big r here. Okay, a capital Y and a capital Y on the second one. Okay, so and then the lowercase letter y here, and lowercase letter r here, and lowercase letter r here, and a lowercase letter y here. Okay, whoops. So that's supposed to be a yellow, so we're going to fix that real quick. Okay, so this is part one, right? This is the part where we segregate out the alleles. Okay, so part two, we're going to draw a Punnett square. Okay, so to draw your Punnett square, you just need to make a big box, okay, a 16 square box, just like so. Okay, so you guys can be doing this along with me. Just remember this should be on page 22 of your notebook, and that's due tomorrow. Okay, so now first you go back, you got to put your allele combinations here, okay, meaning you're going to have your big R and your big Y on your first one. Okay, now the nice thing about them both being the same, okay, big R and then the Y's, big Y's were blue. So you add that to both sides of it. Okay, and then the second one is going to be another big R. Okay, it's going to be a big R and a little Y. Okay, so then the second one is going to be a little R, and a little R here, a little R there, and a little R there. Okay, so you're going to have one big Y, one big Y, and two little Ys. One little Y there, one little Y there. Okay, and so then what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the boxes. Okay, so this first one we're going to have two big R's and two big Y's. So this one is going to be round and yellow. Okay, so then the next one, two big R's, then you're going to have a big Y, and a lowercase letter y. See, still round and yellow. Okay, so the next one is a big R and a lowercase letter r and two big y's. Okay, next one is a big R and a little r with a big y and a lowercase letter y. Okay, so then we come over here, so then we have two big r's again, okay, a big y and a little y. Okay, so again, two big R's, okay, and two little Y's. Okay, so this is round and green. Okay, so the next one, we're going to have one big R, one lowercase letter R, okay, a big Y, and a little Y. So big Y, and a little Y. Next one, at least one big R, big R, little R, little Y, little Y. Okay, next one, we have a big R, and a lowercase letter R, okay, and two big Y's. Okay, so we're going to have a big R, lowercase letter R, big Y, lowercase Y. Okay, next one, there's going to be two little R's. Okay, so that's going to be wrinkled, and almost, I guess, dominant for yellow. Okay, so two little r's, one big y, and one little y. Okay, so here we're going to have a big r, a little r, big y, and a little y. Okay, so another big r, and a little r, and two little y's. Little y, little y. Okay, so two little r's, 
And one big Y, one little Y. And the last one is two little R's and two little Y's. Okay, so now we got our last step. All right, so now we got to figure out how many of them are red, round, and yellow. Okay, so we're going to do that in black. So how many of them are round and yellow? Okay, to have that, we need to have at least one big R. Okay, so here, let me put it in the right color. All right, they need to have at least one big R and at least one... Uh, one big Y. Okay, so then we'd go through and we'd circle those. Okay, so that one is round and yellow, round and yellow, round and yellow, round and yellow, round and yellow. That one's round and green, so round and yellow. All right, that one's round and green, round and yellow, round and yellow. That one's wrinkled and yellow, wrinkled and yellow, so that's a round yellow. So then we'd count them. We'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'd say that there are nine of the round and yellow. Okay, so now we've got to find out how many of them are round and green. Okay, so in other words, how many of them have a big R? And then green is going to have the two little, little Ys. Okay, so we need to have at least one big R and two little Ys. So then we go through. So one big R and two little Ys. One big R, two little Ys. One big R, two little Ys. So that's one, two, three. So you say it's nine to three. Okay, so then how many of them are wrinkled and yellow? So meaning two little R's and one big Y. And anything else? Okay, so then we go through, we'd say there's one, two, three. One, two, three. There's the three of those. And the last one, only one left. Okay, that is wrinkled and yellow. Oh, sorry, wrinkled and green. Okay, so meaning two little R's and two little Y's. Okay, so here, it's just going to be 1. So we'd say the final answer is a 9, 3 to 3 to 1 ratio. So another way to write that would be 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. Okay, and that would be your final answer. Okay, make sure you guys show all of your work. Hopefully this has been helpful.